Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Right, day three of Roland Garros and you know what? It's nearly midnight here. I'm not even joking, it's nearly midnight. Yet, it's nearly 1am in Ro in Paris as well. I was going to say in Rome, but in Paris. And you can see, look, Pablo Crenna Busta and Gilles Simon are still playing. Uh, but I thought, you know what? We're still going to get into this. We're going to do the roundup because otherwise... We'll never do it. And then by the time we get into it, it's going to be the next day's play. So let's get into this. Before we do, do remember to smash the like button, please. If you haven't done so already, it does help us grow a lot. If you're watching on YouTube and do subscribe if you're new as well. If you're listening or watching on a podcast platform, do remember as well to leave a rating or review. It does help us out a great deal. All right, let's get into this. As you can see here, Krenobuster, a breakup in the final set. Looks like he's going to potentially go 5-3 up. Gilles Simon did so well in the first two sets in his swan song at Roland Garros. And I was watching it with a smile on my face, actually. I was watching it kind of at the same time as watching Sitsipas Massetti. Thanks to everyone who joined the live watch along for Sitsipas versus Massetti live commentary. Of course, we'll be doing more watch longs throughout the tournament as we always do for all tournaments as well uh, so do keep an eye out for those venue did most of the uh the live stream and the watch long so thanks venue and i joined and did uh, the last hour or so so thank you guys for tuning in for that uh since past though in the end uh really really interestingly came back from two sets of love down to win in five sets and Mussetti for the second year running at Roland Garros surrendered a two set to love lead to an elite clay court player. Last year it was against Novak Djokovic in the fourth round. He was two sets to love up and he surrendered that lead very, very easily after the third set onwards. And there's a similar story today. Um, won the first two sets and the second set he'd, ha he'd hit 12 unforced errors and four, sorry, 12 winners to four unforced errors, which is incredible. Um, just wasn't able to replicate the first two sets at uh, form in the third, fourth or fifth sets consistently anyway. And he's just not able to keep up his level for three sets, I find. And that's why in the best of five, he comes out and comes undone, I guess, really. But it's a mental block, I think, uh, as well. And I think he would have had flashes about that Djokovic match last year. So something for him to look into. But for Sitsipas, he avoided the upset. He avoided the shock loss. He marches on. Uh, and for me, Mussetti was actually, and I said it in my draw preview, I thought his first round match was probably his toughest match up until probably the semi-finals of the final. Uh, that's kind of how, not easy, but how maybe smoothly I think Sitsipas' route can be. So how much this match has taken out of him, I don't know. But I think realistically, he'll be happy with that. He knows, I think, how much of a threat that was. And he will be more confident going into the next matches. And I see him being okay now for the rest of the tournament. Uh, Vesely lost to Johnson in four sets. You can see Pui beat Kola. Uh, sorry, lost to Kola even in four. Big surprise for me there, actually. I thought Pui would have won, especially not just being French, but the fact that um, he's, for me, a better player on the clay than Kola. Sinner won in straight sets against Fran, uh, Frantangelo. A catch won in straight sets against Zapieri. Uh, Kecinato won against Andaha in five. A little bagel there as well. Nice to see. <laughs> Carabeas Biena beat Otter in five. Very good battle there. And Gaston beating Alex de Meneur. What? Oh, I said it would be a close one. And it was. Look at that Alex de Meneur bageling him in the fourth set as well. But somehow Gaston recovering in the fifth set and winning on a tiebreaker. That's how you recover. Very impressive from Hugo Gaston. And a big upset. Alex de Meneur has had a pretty good clay court season. So that's a fantastic win for the Frenchman. And Francis TFO uh, coming through against Benjamin Bonzi, which I predicted. I did say it would be tight, and it was. Look at that. 7-5-7-5-7-6. And uh, Bonis coming through against Manorino. 6-1-7-6-6-2. And Senego beating Gutschweik in straights as well. Rublev uh, winning in four sets to Kwani. Had a little bit of an outburst, though. Smashed the ball against, uh, I think it was like the bench. Um, and it kind of rebounded and, and flicked. Uh, someone who was, was actually uh, cleaning or sweeping the courts uh, hit their hat and it kind of flew off. So he was a bit lucky. It didn't actually hit him on the head. As if it had, he could have got defaulted very easily, smashed the water bottle. We know he has issues with some of his anger at times on court. He's actually a very nice guy off court um, and seems very likable, but just sometimes gets a little bit carried away. So he needs to be careful in that. Um, we'll see how he gets on. 
for the rest of the tournament. I think the clay, so he, almost surprisingly, he plays pretty well on it. So we'll see how far he can go. Goffan beat Leheka in four, and Rude beating Songa in Songa's last seven match. Not just at Roland Garros, but ever in his career. He's officially retired. Some fantastic words after as well, saying, um, I'm a black player, I'm a white player, I'm a decorated player, as your tem. To say, I mean, he's just such an incredible player. Um, he, his career has been great to watch. Such an entertainer. So sad to see him not kind of stay fully fit for as long as he would have liked. Um, but what we did see of him over a number of years was was great to see. And, you know, I, I'm gutted that he didn't manage to win a slam as well. Of course, he made, um, you know, semifinals. He made a final against Novak like, Djokovic at the Australian Open. Lost that. And, you know, for him, that will be something I'm sure that he'll look back on and think, oh, I wish I'd won one. But uh, he's had an amazing career nonetheless and uh, such a great player, just great personality uh, and wish him all the best after retirement. But And look at that as well. He really, really gave Rude a fantastic close match, taking the first set in a tiebreaker, uh, winning the tiebreaker 8-6, lost the second tiebreaker 7-4, Rude took the third set at 6 2, and then lost the fourth set and the tiebreaker again, uh, but 7 love in that tiebreaker. So, if he'd taken those three set, those three tiebreakers, he would have won the match. So, <sighs> tennis is a funny game. It really is. Uh, Molkan beating Korea in four, Medvedev beating Bagnus in three, Rusevori beating Umber in five. Umber's terrible form continues. Uh, Zher beating Barankis in straights, Susa beating Zeng in five. And just as predicted, Holgerun causing the upset and beating Denis Shapovalov in straight sets. I said it would happen, and it did. So call me Mystic Mike if you want. But pff, I'll tell you what, Holgerun is in great form. And look at this. Just as I said, that Karen Buster looked like he was going to win. Gilles Simon's broken back. He's 40 15 up on his serve. Uh, I don't know which way, that, which way that's going to go. We'll see. Uh, Sabalenka beating Paquette in three sets on the women's side. Contreras Gomez beating Udvardi in straights. Kasatkina with a cheeky little bagel as well to Stramskova winning in straights there. Halep with a very, very interesting match against Schnuck. Um, or Shank even, sorry. Won the first set, then got breadsticked in the second and breadsticked in return in the third. Brengel won in straight sets uh, against... Uh, oh, let's try not butcher this name. Bozanescu, Zanansek beating Lu in straights. Huvan beating... Uh, Selek Mateva in straight sets. Pedosa beating Ferro in straight sets. So Bagel as well. Great to see her in good form. Pagula beating Wang in straights. Good to see her playing well. And Georgi beating Zhang in three as well. Good to see her back. Kalanina got a walkover against Baptiste after being 5 2 up. And Potent Saber beating Barra 6 3 6 1. Rogers beat Martin Kova in straight 6 4 6 3. And Sharif beat Kostyuk. That is a massive upset for me. In straight sets, 6 3 7 5. I cannot believe that's happened, actually. Massive surprise. Uh, Garcia beating Townsend in straights. Good to see Townsend back on court, though. And Alexandrova winning against Menon in straight sets. Corne beating Doy in straight 6 2 6. Love. Little bagel there, like that as well. And Daniel Collins also uh, handing out a bagel to Tomova. 6 love, 6 4. Pliskova winning, winning in three against uh, Adrian Yanfritimo. God, I've butchered that name big time. And uh, Krunic winning 6-4, 6-3 against Rakimova. Ostapenko beating Bronzetti in straights. Tomorrow's matches, I'm going to quickly go over those and then we'll wrap up. For the men's side, we've got Isner versus Barrer. Um, I'll go on Isner. Uh, Felix Ogelassim versus Ugo Karabelli. I'm going to go Felix. Delian Hachinov, Hachinov. Nori, Kubler, Nori. Zapata, Morales against Fritz, Fritz. Goho Krajinovic, I'm going to go Krajinovic. Uh, Badin Cuevas, I'm actually going to go Cuevas. Zverev Bays, I'm going to go Zverev. Djokovic Molkan, great match by the way, but I want to go Djokovic. Munar Schwartzman, I'm going to go Schwartzman. Ramonas Vinonas versus Alcaraz, I'm going to go Alcaraz. Nakashima Greikspor, going to go Greikspor. Korda Gasquet, I'm going to go Korda. Dimitrov Koric, Dimitrov. Van der Zanschlop versus Fognini, what a match that is. I'm going to go Van der Zanschlop to cause the upset. So I think that is an upset because Fognini will be the favorite for me. And Nadal versus Mute, I'm going to go Nadal. Uh, then if we go on to the women's, 
We've got Buzkova versus Mertens, a walkover actually for Mertens, lucky her. She would have to play. Uh, Daninovic versus Teichman, Teichman. Sansonovic versus Radikanu, Radikanu. Azarenka, Petkovic, I'm going to go Azarenka. Kerber, Yakimo, I'm going to go Kerber. Makova, Sakari, Sakari. Uh, Goff, Van Oitvang, Goff. Anisamova, Vekic, I'm going to go Anisamova. Hadam Meyer versus Kanepi, Kanepi. Kirsty Sloan Stevens, Kirsty. Sinyakova, Fernandez, Fernandez for me. Tomjanovic, Kracheva, I'm going to go Tomjanovic. Bencic, Andresko, I'm going to go Andresko actually uh, to cause a little bit of an upset. Osario, Serrano versus Parry, I'm going to go Parry, um, the young French teenager. And uh, Gavrilova versus Kavitova, Kavitova. Lynette, Trevisan, I'm going to go Lynette. Uh, so that is my predictions for tomorrow as well. Thanks very much, guys, for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Do remember to smash the like button, please, if you're watching on YouTube. And do remember to subscribe if you're new as well. If you're a podcast listener or watcher, do remember to leave a rating or review. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day four's roundup. And uh, who knows, you might even have some cheeky little post-match reviews, previews, or even a watch-along to boot. Thanks, everyone, who joined for today's watch-along for Sitsipas Musetti. More coming on, of course, throughout the whole tournament. See you guys later. Thank